Welcome everybody to day nine of gratitude yoga, protecting our gratitude with love. So today we're going to use a rolled up towel or blanket. So if you could grab that about this thick and get your yoga stuff and I'll see you on the mat. All right, so it's time. Welcome everybody. Day nine of Gratitude Yoga Challenge. And I just really want to honor everybody for being here. It's just so wonderful to connect with all of you every day, um, whether it's in the morning or the evening or recording. It's a special um, welcome to everyone that's watching this later on. So today is protect. How do we protect our gratitude? So I ask you to think about it. How, what ways do you protect your gratitude? Do you protect um, your peace and your joy? I'm not talking about like putting a wall around our heart or closing off, but how do we hold it in? How do we hold that energy? And some of the ways we talked about some yogic practices, not just the practices on the mat, but some yogic um, ways of being are ahimsa, which is non, means nonviolence. It's a yogic practice of being gentle with yourself. It's non -har it means non-harming. So we've talked about being gentle with ourselves, taking care of ourselves. I you know, it's one of the reasons I show up to my yogic practice. Um, one of them is also Matrika Shakti. We talked about the power of words. And when I spoke about um, not complaining, and I've been work working on that the last couple of days, and I've had a few slips, but I definitely noticed how when I don't complain, you know, about not important things that need to be said, but those little things that we say that don't need to be said, it, it kind of gives away, it eats into some of the joy. So that's one of the other things. And practicing a mantra, whatever mantra that is for you that is a positive, like a positive affirmation. One that we've been using is so hum, a universal mantra, I am, I am that. So today we'll use that um, in our practice today. It's a wonderful way to bring our awareness back inside. During the day, our awareness goes out. So during the practice, we wanna bring it in. And so hum can help bring our mind back to the self. If we wander off with thoughts or negativity, bring it back to so hum. So let's bring our breath in. Bring our hands in front of our hearts and connect to our breath and we'll open with one ohm. Take an inhale. <sighs> Softening your head towards your heart, allowing yourself to be present to your heart space. Be present to what you're grateful for. Another a great practice we've been doing is counting our blessings, acknowledging what we're grateful for. Acknowledge what you're grateful for. And help open up our eyes. And we'll begin with connecting to our breath. Inhale, deep inhale, inhale so and reach the hands up overhead, stretching over, reaching through the fingertips. Exhale, hum. You can say this inside to yourself, hum, as you release the hands to the earth or some other mantra that you like to use as a practice to bring your awareness inside. Inhale, up. 
And a long exhale out, you can make a sigh. Hum. Fingers towards the earth. Inhale, reaching up, palms towards the sky. Exhale, hum, let it out. So right fingertips to the right side, inhale, right arm up, and we're gonna make a big swooping gesture with the arm, inhale to the other side, big circle, big breath, and let's do this side to side a couple more times. Inhale up, bring the shoulder around to the other side, inhale up, reaching, swooping, and we'll do this one more time. Try to even open up even more with the shoulder. Deep breath. And again, inhale, deep breath. Wonderful. And let's come back to center. We're gonna do a little bit of um, movements for our wrists today in our hands. So let's open up the palms, interlace fingers, open them away. Inhale, open the hands up towards the sky. Deep inhale, long exhale, round forward, chin to chest. Inhale up, we'll do this a couple times. Exhale, chin to chest, stretch the hands away. And do the best you can. If you can straighten the arms, do so. If not, you do the best you can. Inhale up, exhale forward. And let's come up, place the hands behind the head. Not the neck, but behind the head. Inhale, open arms, open heart. Exhale, round forward. Elbows come towards each other, chin to chest. Inhale, up. Exhaling, rounding forward. Let it all out. Inhale, up. And exhale, forward. This time we're gonna stay forward, rounding forward, chin to chest. Stay here for a couple of breaths. And feel that stretch along the whole spine all the way to the top of the neck. A couple more breaths here. And rise up. Release the hands to the side. Take right ear towards the right shoulder very gently. Take your right hand, gently rest it on top of the head, extend the left arm out. So we're gonna have the fingertips reach towards the sky. You bend the wrist and stretch, push that hand away. If you want to move it into the back body for a little deeper stretch, you can. And let's bring the hand forward. And let's do, let's take the hands behind the head again and stretch the neck forward. And come back. Let's do the other side. Extend the right hand out, left ear to the, towards the shoulder. And be very gentle here with the hand as you take the left hand to the head. Bend your right fingertips up to the sky. We're stretching our the muscles in the forearms here that can affect our wrists. And now if you wanna move the hand towards the back body, create a little more of a stretch in your trapezius and do that. We're also stretching the muscles as you can feel in your forearm. Come back, bring the head back to center. Hands behind the head again. Inhale, open up elbows, come forward. Couple of breaths. And you can move your head from right to left a little bit if it feels good while you have your chin to chest. Gently moving it right to left. Doing a nice neck massage and come back. And release. So let's take the hands together again. Actually, first we're going to take our right hand and just do some gentle rings around your wrist. We're doing this to help warm up this band of tissue called fascia that wraps around the muscles here. So this can help release, and it helps to soften this fascia, which helps to release tension in the wrists, which I know a lot of people are having right now. 
So let's do the other side. We're starting to warm up this tissue before we do some deeper stretches for our wrists and our hands to help support us while we're typing or even just typing on your um, phone. We do so much with our hands and wrists. I hear a lot of complaints about wrist pain. So let go, do a gentle shaking of the wrists. Hands together, interlace the palms, the fingers, and we're gonna do some gentle rolls in one direction. And you know, take this nice and slow. We have so many little bones, metacarpal bones in our wrists. So we wanna treat the wrists with a lot, with ahimsa, very gentle. Now let's do the opposite direction. Yeah, nice big circles. We're warming up. The wrists are very delicate, but the wrists also I have found, and let's press the hands away from each other. I found that the wrists respond very well to some warm up, warming up exercises. And we'll let's shake out the hands again. So we're gonna take the palms together, press the hands into each other, keep a resistance as you tilt the palms to one side. Don't go too far if you feel pain, don't go any further and back off. So keep the hands pressing into each other with some resistance as you come back and go to the other side. So not only are we helping to warm up, these muscles, we're also strengthening the rest here. So let's come up and let's do that one more time. It only goes as far as it feels good. And if you, if you start to feel some pain, resist the hands more into each other and stay and breathe, but don't stay in pain, back off a little bit and then go to the other side. Resistance is important to help build the strength and open up at the same time. So let's come back. So we're gonna do some rotation, palms come forward and then to the back of the hands and palms together, back of the hands, rotating towards us at first. And remember your breath. Maybe you could do so hum, inhale and exhale, make your movements a meditation. And let's go the opposite direction. Hands towards us and away. Towards us and away. All right, great. Stretch the hands out again. Interlace fingers, palms away. And let's shake up the hands. So this is even a deeper stretch. We're going, take your hand, bend the elbow, bring the palm towards you. Going to take your other hand and grab your index and pinky finger. And then you're going to pull the fingers away from you as you open up the arm away from you. It's a deep opening. This helps to open up muscles on the, the ulna, it's the ulna um, nerve that goes through these muscles. And this can cause um, a lot of uh, tension um, and some pain in the wrist and the hand and the arm. So be gentle with yourself, slowly opening up. We'll stay here for a couple more breaths. Deep inhale and a long exhale. Exhale, breathing out any tension. Let go, shake out the hand. Let's do the other side. So palm towards you, grab your pinky and your index finger. Inhale, lengthen up and exhale. Bring those fingers away from you. You might find one side is more open than the other. One might be more tight than the other. You might feel some warmth going up the inside of the arm here because it helps to release the muscles that can impinge um, the ulna nerve here. 
So let's take, take a few more breaths, deep inhale, long exhale, releasing any tension here. Become very aware of the area in your arm. Breathe into your arm and your wrist and your hand. Exhale, releasing tension. Let go, shake it out. Now we'll come to the right hand again. This time, if you can take your pinky and thumb together, bring them together like this. If you can't, that's okay. And you're gonna bring it towards you, bending the elbow again. Your other hand, you're gonna grab your middle finger and your pointer finger, inhale, and then exhale, move it away, opening up. So we're opening up, you might feel this in the middle of your hand, going up to the other side, the, ra the radial side of your arm. It might go all the way up to the shoulder. It might even go all the way up to your neck. So take your awareness to your breath, bringing, bringing the breath in towards your arm and your hand and exhaling, releasing tension. Feel the hand open up a little, little more, softening with the breath. Let's take another deep inhale, long exhale. Shake out the hand. Let's do the other side. So we're gonna take the thumb and the pinky again Clasp your thumb, your middle finger and your pinky finger. Hand is facing towards you. Inhale, lengthen up and exhale. Pull these two fingers away from you. Bring your awareness to your breath. Opening, deep inhale and long exhale. Breathing out any tension you might be holding. I feel it more on this side than my other. And let's go, release, letting go the palms. Let's press the palms out again, interlacing the fingers, inhale up. Draw the shoulders back as far as you can, pressing the hands up to the sky and release the hands down. Fantastic. So let's come on to all fours. You may notice that your um, shoulders feel more open and loose. So coming onto all fours, walk your hands out a little in front of the shoulders. That will help to relieve tension in the wrists. If they're right under the shoulders, you have more pressure when you have that 90 degree angle. Inhale, extend the right arm out and extend the left leg out. We get a stretch and lengthen. And this time we're gonna bring our elbow to our knee, doing a little core strengthening posture. And exhale out and lengthen. Inhale, elbow to the knee. And extend out and lengthen. Take that hand to the earth and we'll do the opposite. Extend the left arm out, right leg out, lengthen. Inhale, draw the elbow towards the knee and reach out. Inhale, knee to elbow, coming to your core energy and extend out. And one more time and extend out. Wonderful. Walk the hands over to the right side. Walk the fingertips out like little spiders and stretch forehead to the earth. Lengthening through the spine, softening in the heart. Inhale, let's walk the hands over to the right side. Walk fingertips out like little spiders, lengthen through the spine and exhale, forehead to the earth. Deep inhale, long exhale. And walk back to center. Let's make our knees wide here, bring toes together let the hips fall to the heels, forehead to the earth. And you can keep your hands in front or maybe you might like to wrap your arms around to the side or even grab your heels, whatever feels good for you. 
We're gonna stay here for a couple of breaths, feeling our hips soften with every breath more to the heels, the back body softening, the space in between the shoulder blades softening, the jaw, the neck relaxing to the earth. I'm gonna read a poem while we're here for a little longer. This poem is by Amanda Gorman. She is the laureate poet that read at the inauguration yesterday. She wrote, when day comes, we step out of the shade, aflame and unafraid. The new dawn blooms as we free it, for there is always light. If only we're brave enough to see it. If only we're brave enough to be it. Allowing yourself to enter that space, that light in your heart and breathe deep into that space. And feel that light expand in your whole being. Inhale, let's rise up. So you may want to have a, um, put something under your knees here if you like. You don't have to. I have a very thin mat. <laughs> so we're gonna come up on one, come up on both of your knees. Let's start off on both knees. Hands to the hips. So let's stick the hips out here and inhale, draw the tailbone in as we draw the belly in, connecting to our core strength. So we create a stability here in our sacrum area, in our pelvic girdle, shoulders up and back and expand in the heart. Now keeping this foundation, extend your right leg out. Inhale, let's take our right hand over to the right side and extend the left arm up and over. So we're gonna do a few sweeping movements. Let the hand come all the way to the earth Inhaling up so you can watch your hand with your gaze if that feels good for you, for your neck. Inhale up and over. And we'll do this a couple more times, two more times. Inhale and exhale. Like the sun rising, the sun in our heart expanding up and open and then we'll come over to the right side again. Wonderful. And then bringing our hands to the earth here, take your right knee in, come back up, find your foundation, tuck tailbone, pull belly in, lengthen through the heart. So once you have your sturdy foundation and then you find your flexibility. Extend the left leg out. Inhale, right arm up. And exhale, big circle again. Inhale, up, stretching, reaching, and over. Inhale, and exhale. So we can go slow or as fast as you like. And we'll do one big sweeping more movement. Inhale up and then ending, stretching over to the left. So keep your right knee rooted into the earth. Again, draw that tailbone down, pull the belly in, lift in the heart and expand out like the sun. Rooting into your own light, standing in your light. Let's bring the hands down. So we're gonna come on to our backs. Have your towel, full rolled up towel next to you. So extend the legs out and stretch the hands overhead. 
stretch through the toes, reach through the fingertips, lengthen, lengthen out, and let everything go into the mat here. We're gonna do an abdominal strengthening posture. So make your legs very firm, hug muscle to bone, and I want you to flex your toes towards you. And your legs are about hip width apart. So hug muscle to bone in the legs. Now hug, take your left hand and place it right at the bottom of your ribs so you can feel your abdominal muscles. And hug those abdominal muscles, activate them as you flex the toes and hug muscle to bone in your legs, hug the muscles above your knees, you should be able to feel these muscles activate. Now take the right hand behind the head and with an inhale, deep breath and exhale, draw the chin towards the chest as your hand supports your head and neck. And feel those abdominal muscles activate exhale down. So we'll do this a couple more times. Inhale, activate the legs, flex the toes, chin to the chest. You should feel these abdominal muscles activating. Exhale down. Two more times. Inhale. Exhale down. Inhale and exhale down, release that hand, and we'll do the other side. So flex the feet, take the right hand, you're taking it right at the bottom of the ribs here. It's as if you're trying to pull your ribs together. So you can feel your abdominal muscles activate as you flex your toes and hug muscle to bone in the legs. Take the left hand behind the head. Inhale, chin to chest, use your hand to support your neck. Exhale down. Inhale up, keep the toes flexed. Exhale down, inhale up. Exhale down, and one last one. Inhale up, and exhale down and, and release everything. Let's bend our knees. Now take the right knee over to the left leg and let the knees fall over to the left. Bring arms up overhead. So lift the shoulders up, try to get both shoulders onto the mat and gaze over to the right here. And we'll take a couple of breaths here. You can close your eyes, allowing yourself to settle into the twist, allowing the head and the neck to relax and the jaw to relax. Deep inhale, long exhale, releasing even deeper into the twist. And we'll go to the other side. So unwind the legs and take the other leg across the thigh. Switch your grip in your arms. You might wanna bump your hips a little over to the left. If you take them over to the left, that helps with the twist and let the knees fall over to the other side. And maybe you wanna to try to get, lift both, get both shoulders level on the earth if possible. Gaze over to the opposite side. We'll take a couple of breaths here. Letting the head and the neck and the jaw relax and soften. Come back to center. Hug knees into the chest. So we're gonna take our knees together here, hands on top of the knees, and we'll do some circles in one direction. Pulling them in and out, and then go to the opposite direction. Hug, make the knees wide, we can rock back and forth. Let's do a happy baby pose here. Drawing the bottom of the hands are wrapped around the outside of the feet, pulling on 
the feet as you draw the knee, knees towards the earth, softening your tailbone towards the earth. If it feels good to rock back and forth here, you can. Let's take a couple of breaths. Letting go of the belly, letting go in the hips. So let's release the legs. Keeping the knees bent, let's roll over to one side and we're gonna take our blanket. So we're gonna have this in between the shoulder blades like we did the other day. So I'm gonna place the roll here. It's right about um, level with the bottom of my ribs. I don't wanna go any lower than that because then you get into the kidney area. It doesn't feel very good. So right about the bottom of my ribs in between the shoulder blades, lay the head back. You might want a um, little blocker pillow for your head. Most people I find like to have the head free. And then let's take, first let's take our arms, interlace the elbows, bring them overhead. We'll stay here for a couple of breaths and then we'll release the hands to the sides. So take five deep inhales here, long exhales. Be aware of the belly, releasing and softening with each exhale. When you're done with your five breaths, take your hands to the side, let them fall open, palms towards the sky. Take your feet and let them rock side to side. It's kind of like we shook our hands, let your feet rock side to side and then let them fall to the side and be heavy. Bringing your awareness to your spine. Let the spine be heavy on the towel. Make any final adjustments. Deep breath into the belly and all the way to the top of the lungs. So the chest fills. And exhaling, soften the shoulders to the side. And let them soften to the earth. The arms become light. We'll stay here for about a minute. And bringing your awareness to your breath, coming in and out, using your mantra that you like to bring your awareness deeper inside, connecting to your stillness, to your light. Allowing yourself to sink even deeper to the posture, letting everything melt into the earth. The feet fall a little more to the side. 
The thighs release a little more, the hips and the belly, the shoulders let go, the arms, the hands are open for giving and receiving. The neck and the jaw and the head are even more relaxed. We'll take our final few breaths, the deep inhale, Long exhales. Next breath, let's bend our knees, roll over to the side and use your hands to slowly come up to a seated posture. And we'll sit for a minute in meditation. Practicing coming to your stillness. It just takes a breath to draw your awareness inside. Feeling rooted, inhale, lengthen through the crown of the head, soften shoulders down. And we'll stay here for a minute, connecting to the breath as it draws us deeper inside, connecting with our mantra, drawing us deeper into our peace. Next inhale, let's open up our hands, bringing our awareness to our hearts, hands in front of our hearts. We'll close with one ohm. Take a deep inhale. Um. From my heart to yours, namaste. I thank you everybody for joining. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Same place, same time here on the mat. And I hope that you take your peace, your yoga into your day. <laughs>